Hi, and welcome back to Cup of Ammo. My name is Justin. Just wanted to do a quick video on a way to personalize your firearm. This is my slide from my daily carry. As you can see, I have painted the engravings on this just to kind of personalize it a little bit. And also something that happens with the Smith & Wessons is my front post dot had fallen out. It's literally just like a piece of paint chip that's pressed in there. And it had fallen out on me. And so I used the same method to paint it about a year ago. This whole slide was painted about a year ago. And you can see it's held up quite nicely. Um, what I'm going to be painting today is my slide from my MMP Performance Center. Um, what you're going to need to do this is some paint. Uh, just nail polish, whatever color you want. Uh, this was recommended by my wife to use as a good brand. Uh, you're going to want just some round cosmetic pads to help clean off the excess paint. Um, or you can use cotton balls. And then to help you remove the excess paint, you're going to want non-acetone nail polish remover. The acetone that's in normal nail polish remover will hurt the metal finish on your slide. So to do this, it's a very easy process. Um, the slide has already been cleaned and you just going to want to basically make sure there's no residue of any form on there. And then you're just going to take your paint and you're very generously going to want to apply it to the slide. It's a very easy process. You have to have zero artistic ability to do this. You're just going to generously apply it. And I need to put something underneath the slide to keep it from rolling on its side. Don't worry about getting it everywhere. Um, once this dries, the nail polish remover or will remove all the excess paint very easily. So you just want to make sure you put a nice healthy coating on there so that it works its way down into all of the engraving. So once you do clean it up, it's a nice, even job, no air bubbles in there at all. So, that's all it takes. Uh, this is the only thing I have nearby to use. Aha. And it's going to work perfect. So. That's all there is to the first part of this. I'm going to let that dry for a good hour, and then I'll come back and show you how to clean it all up. All right, so I've let this dry for several hours now, and the paint's, um, you can brush your finger on it. It doesn't smear anything. So now we just need to clean all the excess paint off of it. So all we're going to do, we're going to take one of these uh, makeup pads. We're just going to put just a little bit of the nail polish remover on. Now, you want to do this very gently and just slowly. Do the logo first. It's probably the hardest one to clean off. And you're just very gently going to rub this. Because you don't want to force any of that cleaner down into the cutout. And it'll just all slowly clean off. Eventually you get, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, there's a lot of light. But you get a lot of paint, you'll see the paint building up on the pad. And so I just Flip it over. I 
Now the nice thing about this is if you do mess up, this is a very easy process to repeat and try again. Just and then if you ever want to remove this, instead of rubbing softly, you just rub fairly hard to work it down into the cutout. You can pull it all out pretty easily. Yeah, this is all cleaning off very nicely, pretty easy. So, there we go. It's all nice and cleaned off. So, looks very nice. Gives it kind of a finished look. Uh, let me grab this real quick. I'll just throw the barrel and the spring back in here real quick and show you. I've only got the one side done. I'll do the other side later. Um, as far as my compact that I've had done for about a year now, um, I clean it with just regular, I clean it just the same as I would, um, even if it wasn't painted, and it still cleans nicely, you don't have to worry about your cleaning solution rubbing it off, um, just personalizes it a little bit, kind of makes it look, um, a little bit more finished in my opinion, compared to, I still have the other side, solid black, as to compare to that, you can still, of course, read it and that, but it just gives it more of a finished look. So, and then while I was at it, I also did uh, the magazines. They came out pretty nice. The stamp marks are a lot smaller on the magazines. But it came out nice. I don't know how well this is going to hold up in the long run, being put in and out of the firearm multiple times. I've never tried to do the magazines before, but I like the way it came out. Just looks nice and finished. So, anyways, nice simple little project if you want to give it a try. This has been Cup of Ammo. I'm Justin. Hope you enjoyed.